start out with using um, Max Bronzing Powder um, just to contour your face. I always contour in the hollows of my cheeks and on my jawline, but I mean, you can contour anywhere that you want to contour. Now we're going to use Smashbox's Blush and Radiance, and it's just a hot, hot pink blush. And you're going to put that mostly on the apples of your cheeks, but then also, um, not fanning it, but like bringing it out, um, also, like toward your ears. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Now I'm using Nivea's, I think it's like Kiss of Milk and Honey or something like that. I don't know, it's the honey one. Um, and just use any chapstick and get your lips nice and moisturized. Now I'm taking Revlon's Baby Pink and I love this color. It's super sheer but it's really pretty. And now I'm taking a Femme Couture lip gloss. I'm not sure if that's how you say it or not, but it's basically just a magenta kind of hot pink um, lip gloss, and I got it from Sally's. I don't know if you can get that company um, only there or anywhere else. I mean, obviously, you probably can online, but um, that's just where I got it was at Sally's. Now I'm taking a Revlon uh, Cream Shadow Quad and this is the darkest one in it. It's the navy one and I'm kind of just using this as a base so that way my black will be really black because a lot of times black eyeshadows tend not to stay black. They kind of fade to gray a little. Um, but this way it'll just keep the color nice and like vibrant and dark. But um, you'll just take that and I started at the base of like my lash line and stuff like that and then you just kind of blend it up onto the rest of your eyelid and yes I'm still wearing makeup from earlier <laughs> didn't feel like taking it off now using Coastal Sins uh, 88 eyeshadow palette I'm taking the black and just dabbing it on like patting it on because you want to be careful with fallout since it is a black you don't want a ton of black shadow underneath your eye um, I mean it's really unavoidable you are going to get some fallout but just patting it on first um, really helps control and minimize that and then you can just put it on after you pack the color on you can just put it on like you would any other normal eyeshadow So run that uh, along your lower lash line too. And take a blending brush of any sort and you're just going to blend out all the edges um, just so that way, like, you want a dark eye, but you don't want it like you got punched in the face. You want it to fade out a little bit and just be nice and blended. Now I'm taking, from the Coastal Sins palette, just a light highlighting type color um, and just taking it on my brow bone underneath my eyebrow and in the inner corner and just also even using it to blend stuff out a little bit more.
taking a black pencil liner, I'm just going to line my waterline and then also uh, line my lower lash line. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, the pencil I'm using is just some off-brand. I think I found it at like Big Lots or something like that. It wasn't a name that I recognized. I would recommend using the Milani Liquify eyeliner in black. It's my favorite black eyeliner. The only downside to it is I'm allergic to something in it. So I really can't use it as often as I would like to. I would use it every day if I could. Now we're going to conceal under our eyes just to um, cover up any thing that might have fallen. Um, but conceal under your eye and then also conceal in the inner corners there because sometimes whenever you're putting on eyeshadow the brush can flick the shadow um, into the corner there. So you just want to conceal that and underneath your eyes. I'm using Rimmel's Stay Matte Press Powder and I'm just using a eyeshadow brush to apply this with just because I think it works best, it's small, um, but yeah I'm just setting my concealer with the uh, pressed powder. Now take any mascara I'm using Maybelline's The Falsies and apply your mascara. This is the look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great day. Bye.